First of all, I uh, wish to uh, welcome each and every one of you for coming uh, today. Um, I know, uh, I'm sorry I couldn't uh, fix the weather. Um, it's, uh, it's a bit wet and I received a number of phone calls and SMSs from people saying that uh, they're sick or unable to make it uh, due to various things. But of course, I know the weather plays uh, the biggest uh, part. But having said that, it's a uh, great uh, attendance this morning uh, with uh, uh, a, a good number of people uh, that are here and making the effort at uh, 9.30 uh, to come in uh, to uh, hear our guest speakers and, um, and that uh, speaks for itself that uh, there, are, there is great interest uh, in understanding uh, doing business uh, with uh, Asia um, and, uh, and to understand what are the risks, the opportunities and the challenges that uh, we have um, into the future. So um, that's uh, myself. I'm uh, Shoket, my name is Shoket Mosulman. I'm the uh, director of CPA. CPA is Sydney Institute for Public and National Affairs. I've recently established uh, uh, this organisation as a non not for profit organisation. I used to hold uh, a number of forums in the last uh, uh, many years, uh, but uh, I, it was under different uh, titles, under my name and other organisations. But I've established it now. Uh, under CPIA, uh, Sydney Institute for Public and International Affairs, and it's designed to champion um, matters, issues, and views and discussions uh, of national and international uh, significance. It tends to encourage, really encourage, and bring into the public debate issues and, um, and views uh, from outside of the mainstream uh, that affect many in the multicultural Australian society. Um, there are many issues. Uh, uh, that are not covered by our man mainstream media, our mainstream society. So, uh, and, uh, and certainly there are many views that are not uh, given air. And uh, the opportunity is to try and have CPIA uh, give uh, those people an opportunity to, um, to address and speak and address the, uh, the, uh, the Australian multicultural society. So I believe that... Um, uh, that with the, the direct with the speakers uh, that we have here uh, today um, and their experience in the field, our speakers will be able to offer uh, great and in-depth insights that will benefit you and, and those who are thinking of uh, doing business uh, with uh, with Asia. So I won't speak for long, um, as I will let let the the experts, uh, the expert panel, uh, focus on the specific and, and bring out the key opportunities. Uh, and challenges that we in Australia um, and people in Asia have uh, doing business. Uh, we in Australia are part of Asia, um, as I, we always say, we are part of Asia. The Australian continent is in the Asia-Pacific region. We are an integral part of Asia. If you look around, uh, you see uh, Indonesia, Malaysia, China, Korea, now, all those countries that surround uh, Australia, we are in Asia and our livelihood and future depends on our, on our relationship with Asia. Although some in Australia have in recent past and, uh, and historically continue to see Australian, Australia as part of the Western world and with Western values and Western traditions, the fact is uh, we remain uh, a part of Asia and that's where our future lies. Uh, Asia has provided great business uh, and trade opportunities, but these remain. Uh, but there remains many uh, political challenges. So I will let our guest uh, speakers uh, and our experts elaborate on such opportunities uh, and uh, challenges. Uh, and we'll go first with. And I'll, I had some other slides to speak to, but I won't. I'll go straight into uh, uh, our speakers. And our first speaker. Um, being um, affirmative action Labour Party, we uh, I decided that uh, that we go with the female first, the male next, and the female uh, after. So uh, we've chosen Miss Sarah Cheng to, to go first. As you can see, uh, Miss Sarah Cheng uh, is the director of the Great uh, Greater China Region of the Australian Chamber of Commerce and the vice president of the Australian China Business Council. Sarah has over 25 years of experience in China and Australia, focusing on international business strategy development, distribution channel management and mergers and acquisitions. Sarah manages international business teams in Australia and overseas to assist Australian companies in trading or investing overseas. She and her team have helped more than 
thousand Australian companies. Fantastic. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a great contribution to the uh, uh, Australian business uh, community, including some icon brands in some industry sector to successfully conduct business overseas. Um, Sarah, uh, there's John he John's head in the photo. Sarah co-authored the book, uh, Leading China Australian Real Estate. Uh, before I call on uh, Sarah to come forth and speak, just to let you know the, uh, the, um, the format of the forum today is that each speaker will speak for 20 minutes and after, uh, at the conclusion of the three speakers, we will have uh, Q&A. So we should, uh, be, we should finish by about 11.30 at 12 o'clock. In the meantime, if anybody uh, wishes to have tea and coffee, it's available there, please do help yourself. And uh, in the meantime as well, uh, please note some of the questions or comments that you'd like to make uh, so that when the opportunity comes for the Q&A, you'd be able to ask uh, those questions. So now